There are certain components that are what's called polarized. That means you can only put them in one way to get them to work. You look on the other side. Oh. So you want to take... Or, I don't know. Well, the kids were essentially building uh, an Atari Punk synthesizer. It's a small uh, synthesizer that's mounted on one PCB card designed by Jake Joseph here at the School of Ed. And it has four controls, these rotary pots, or just, you know, we can just call them dials, right? And when you turn the dial, lots of amazing and strange sounds come out. And what's wonderful about them is that you actually can't tell. It's an instrument that you have to play with your ears. A traditional synthesizer is going to have presets or buttons or even little hash marks that will tell you if it's going from 1 to 10 or 0 to 255 or whatnot. Here, you turn it a millimeter, 1 32nd of an inch, and all of a sudden you have a different pitch, a different texture, even a different rhythm depending on how the other three knobs are configured. I don't want to put it to max. There, there, there are no errors, right? Only knowledge that are waiting. I think it's crucial for students to get their fingers dirty. Right? The old saying about field work is I've got to get my fingers dirty uh, and find my fingers somewhere in the unexpected earth. I think that is so crucial because it helps connect what we hear in the classroom, what we think about inside and outside the classroom with our hands and with muscle memory and with collectively building something together. So if we crank the LFO level all the way up, then pow, amplitude modulation. Okay. So here, I'll, I'll mess them up so you Well, what we were hearing is the sound of exploration. Yes, we could go through and say, well, we heard square waves and triangle waves and some noise and some distortion and some kind of strange careening tuning sounds that might sound like a cybernetic whale from the 22nd century. But really what we were hearing was the sound of exploration of students building these things and trying to figure out how to play this and how to discover this thing as a musical instrument. I want you to try and tune your instrument to try and get to to try and get to a sound similar to Ronnie's. I'm just picking him randomly. And so and we'll start we'll start now. So no talking, let's try it. I could listen to that forever. <laughs> <laughs>